I unlisted my previous video because I wasn't happy with it. Things could have gone a little bit smoother with the whole recording process. I also didn't like that we were just doing kind of something stupid. So I'm going to do something even more stupid, but something that I think you guys will like instead, which is share my story. <laughs> there is a conspiracy that I think is going on with share my story. I think they're recycling content because I see a video on here called I stole my dad's wife from four days ago. Hmm. Four days ago, hmm? Oh, so, so that's whenever this originally came out, right? Then why is it that Oompaville has already done a video on that? Hmm? I'm starting to think that there's problems going on at Share My Story. They're reposting stuff now. That's wrong. I can't believe they would do it. SMH all over the place. Sister f or someone's sister followed their brother into the bed uh, ba basement. Something. It it's this. It's this one. Our Christmas was ruined and yours would have been too. Imagine you and your husband had made two cute snowmen outside your house and woke up the next morning to find a third snowman sticking a large knife into your husband's snowman's chest. Well, see, that wouldn't happen anyway because I don't live somewhere where it frequently snows and two. I don't have a snowman. Well, when that happened to us, I knew instantly that he was back. You see, many years ago, when I was a teenager, my stepbrother moved in with us and told me, Check out this news article. Isn't it rad? The title said, What was up with the voice that they gave him? Check out this news article. Isn't it rad? Rad. Isn't it so cool? Shaka, bruh. Like, Jesus Christ. Then he's going to start saying walkie slush. Siblings get married and have three kids. I cringed so hard and screamed, What's wrong with you, you creep? Huh? Do you think it's weird? Of course, you weirdo! Dennis had zero emotional intelligence, and he obviously had a crush on me. But at least I knew he was harmless and a kind person. He actually spent most weekends helping out at animal shelters. Or so I thought. Because uh oh, this is the point where she goes, what are you doing, step bro? And then like somehow gets herself stuck in the washing machine and doesn't know how to get back out. Later, I was making pancakes and I felt someone's hot breath on my neck. I screamed and saw that it was Dennis. He said, do you like my friend Michael? You've met him, right? Michael told me he loves you and dreams about you every single night. Well, then Michael needs to get a hobby, my guy. He needs to start playing, like, some Rocket League, some Call of Duty Warzone. Like, he's, he's got to do something better with his time, because right now, like, your, your buddy is having a v very terrible time at the moment. Ew, stop it. I don't like you, and I don't like Michael. Stop dreaming about me, you freaks. You see, I had met my stepbrother's friend Michael, and he was the biggest weirdo of them all. One time, he was at our Well, that's not very nice. He could have been, like, a really nice person. Again. I caught five rats in one night. One of them is as big as a cat, and I've put them all in a rat park where they're making lots of rat babies now. Want to come what? over and see them? <laughs> I would rat- <laughs> You know, that that's like the typical teenager from like the 1970s 1980s like oh we we don't we don't need all these fancy gadgets and stuff it's i made a rat farm come take a look at my rat farm baby you know you want to I'd rather kill myself than go home with you you creep i wanted him to feel rejected and go sulk somewhere but he responded but that's not oh, very I nice i love it when you play hard to get so yeah that's not playing hard to get that's saying that you're getting cucked my guy he was a big weirdo and things got creepier. One night, my mom and dad were out of town when my stepbrother Dennis said, You and I have to declutter the basement. Dad will pay us 40 bucks each if we help. I could use the 40 bucks, so I agreed and followed Dennis down the stairs to the basement. Dennis uh -oh. had a thing for me, sure. Uh -oh. But he was a dumb fudge and nice guy after all, so I wasn't scared of him. And she's gonna get stuck in the washing machine. I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. Oh. That That's how it always starts. It's following your stepbrother down to the basement, getting stuck in the washing machine. Help me, stepbro. I'm stuck somehow. Well, big mistake. Because suddenly, he grabbed me and forced me into a chair. I screamed, I'm going to kill you! But he just wrapped a rope around me real tight so I couldn't run away. Oh. Sorry, but I owe my friend Michael a favor. Jesus he Christ. Just a to get to know what? You. So why did why did he tie her up like that? My god, I don't think that I don't think that he's trying to get a date for Michael. I think he's got some weird scary finish going on. Please talk to him for a few hours. I bet you'll fall in love with him. And I hoped he would come close enough to my face so I could bite into his carotid artery and send him to a hospital. He said, "There's my little angel." You know, I had a dream where Archangel Michael told me that we two are meant for each other. 
He also said we're going to have three babies one day. Like, everything that's going on in this story is cringe, but also the story itself is cringe. So it's like cringe on top of cringe, and uh, that that's that, that's just too much. I, I talked to someone, and they were like, Yes, I must tie a woman up in my friend's basement. And not just any woman, but a relative of his. Not, not so close relative. I need to hold her for ransom until she has the relations with me. Yes, no, that that's absolutely 100% what would happen. Like, that that's... Whatever higher power is telling you to do that, you need to find a new higher power. That's all I'm saying. I responded, I'd rather stab myself in the eye with a fork than date you. At last, he put a talisman around my neck saying, It's made out of rat bones. Keep it on and you'll always feel my presence. Ew! When he finally... Ew, bro! It's made out of rat bones? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. Finally left and my stepbrother Dennis came back down to untie me. I stood up and kicked him with full force in the nuts. He fell to the ground and it felt so good to see him <laughs> cry like a baby. And the second my mom got back, I told her how I was tied up and forced on a date. She was upset and told Dennis that Michael was forbidden from ever entering our house again. I thought this would stop Michael and his craziness, but one day But you I thought a wrong. Love letter from him. On it was a drawing of me and him kissing, and there was also a strand of hair attached to it. My hair! So for the next few months, I only left the house to go to school. My mom always drove me. But then we went on vacation and got the stunning villa next to a lake. Fall oh, and let me guess, the stalker followed you on vacation. He was just like, oh, she's leaving. It's time to go with her. Who wants to go to the Grand Canyon? Or away from Michael. I felt so safe, but one morning as I opened the front door, I found a photo of me on the floor. A photo of me taking a shower. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. The stalker. Either the stalker hid in the trunk and just came along with them, or he managed to hitch a ride there on that vacation. I don't know which, but it, I know that it's at least one of those two. Immediately knew it was him. Michael. There was also a note at the back that said, you can wear that bikini on our wedding night. It's just, that's kind of the that's kind of the thought that went into my head is this face right here. That that just summed up every bit of what I was thinking. I don't even want to say what I was thinking at this well, point. Well, that ruined my vacation mood. I stayed in my room with a knife at all times, and I couldn't shake the feeling that Michael had hacked my computer cuz maybe he'd seen my web search and found my location <laughs> El Goog. So I took my laptop. I, I remember that. I need to see if El Goog works one day and just. I I, I want to know what the entire purpose of it was, but that's not important for this video. Sorry. A security expert who, after running some tests, told me that someone had installed a password stealer on my laptop and that that person had access to all my accounts. So on my way home, I gave my laptop to a homeless person and didn't look back. I completely ditched so, technology. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Your accounts were taken over, so what you did instead was you left your laptop with a homeless person, and then you went home and got rid of the rest of your technology. Why would you leave your laptop with a homeless person? If all your stuff is still on there, don't you think the homeless person would be like, hmm, credit cards here, ooh, bikini pictures here. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, that that's great. No, you, you've got my word. You've got my word. I'm not going to look at any of this. I'll even delete it for you. ...and moved to another state for college, making sure that Michael couldn't locate me. There, I also got into my first relationship with Nick. Oh, so, Nick! Feel safe. On Valentine's Day, he even left roses and a cute teddy bear at my apartment door. Oh, that he is so sweet. Dorm and said, he is so Thank nice. so much for the Valentine's gift. What do you mean? I've bought you a necklace, but it's still in my bag. I haven't given it to you yet. A shiver ran down my spine. Uh -huh. I back home to inspect my valentine's uh -oh. gift. I noticed that something was off about the teddy bear's eye. So I pulled it out and found a camera. In that moment, I knew that Michael was back. Ooh, so I told my boyfriend she... about my crazy... Dude, this Michael guy, he just does not give up. He's just like, you think you can get away from me? Psh, psh. I'm, I'm just going to stalk you everywhere you go. I'm always watching. I'm always watching. I'm the little creeper that's across the street. The stalker. He said, I won't tolerate this idiot ruining your life. And I promise I to won't stop. tolerate this idiot ruining your life, sweetheart. Come with me. Because I know all the answers. <laughs> what? So Nick came up with a plan. 
First, I asked my stepbrother Dennis to give me Michael's number, and then I called Michael asking if he could come over. The creepy thing was that it only took him five minutes to get to my door. We sat down and I told him- Why do you act surprised? He knew where you were going to college. He knew, like, e everything about what you were doing on vacation. How were you surprised that it only took him five minutes? You should have just been like, he's gonna be here any second. I just know it. I just know it. And then boom, you're ready. Like, he was here in five minutes. I don't know how he did that. I had a dream last night. God told me that you and I are meant for each other. Good, it's about time. So you are my girlfriend now, right? Not yet, because God said you'll first have to prove your worth by beating up my boyfriend, Nick. But I could go to prison for that. Not if you're careful. What? <laughs> I go to prison for that. Not if you're careful. Nick goes fishing at the small lake every Friday. It's pretty deserted out there, so no one will see you. Just ambush Nick and leave no evidence behind. Honestly, I didn't expect Michael to fall for my crazy ass story. I mean, come on, it was ridiculous. But you know why? Because he's got Vagine in his mind. So he's just like, I'm just going to do whatever I can to please my sweetheart or my sweetheart since you're not actually a sweetheart. But yeah, he's he's got the Vagine mind going on right now. But the freak responded, fine, but I want you to watch while I defeat your boyfriend. Michael didn't know that I had recorded the conversation. Now all I needed was video footage of him attacking Nick to send him to prison. So on Friday, Michael and I got to the lake, and Nick was fishing with his back to us. I took a big stick from my bag and said, Here you go, Michael. <laughs> How do you carry a stick like that in your purse? <laughs> what? That purse is like this big as she pulled out a stick that was like three times the length of that. How in the hell did you fit that in your purse? Okay, this is bullshit. Michael was so pumped for victory, he took the big stick. And just when he was about seven feet away from my boyfriend, Nick, I pulled out my taser and zzz, Michael was on the ground. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I, I got to hear that sound again. What, what was that sound again? Taser and zzz. Oh, okay, wait. Hang on, hang on. I, I got to get the full effect. Hang on, hang on. One more time. Taser and zzz. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I, ju I just want to make sure that I got the full effect of that taser going off. On the ground, flapping like a fish out of water. Then we called the police and handed over all the audio and video evidence. Three months later, Michael was sentenced to six years in prison for attempted assault with a deadly weapon. My boyfriend Nick saved me. And that's why I married him right after we graduated college. We moved into a small two-bedroom house and even tried for a baby. Everything just seemed so perfect. But then, a day before Christmas, the doorbell rang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now the stepbrother's coming over. He's like, really? You sent my friend to prison because of your stupid antics. That that, that thanks a lot, step sis. Now I'm not gonna get you out of the washing machine. I opened the door and it was my stepbrother Dennis. I said, "Merry Christmas. What are you doing here?" Oh, I know what you did, Michael. You framed him, and now he. Why is it that they've gotten older and older, and her stepbrother is still like, "I know what you did, Michael." Dude, have your balls dropped yet? My God. He's in prison, even though he would never hurt anyone. Leave me alone, you freak. I tried to close the door, but Dennis put his foot in between. He said, Michael hasn't forgotten you. You better go visit him in prison and apologize. I had enough and took my boyfriend's golf club and swung it right at him. He finally ran off and I didn't tell my boyfriend about the incident because I didn't want to ruin his Christmas. You see, Nick and I had a Christmas- It's Dennis greeting us a Merry Christmas? I, I don't think anything was merry going on there at that doorway. This Eve tradition. Every year, we would build a snowman and snowwoman couple in our front yard, then got twigs to make it look like they were holding hands, and made smiley faces using Skittles and licorice. Hey, 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 there's probably a trademark on the Skittles also. You you can't just call them Skittles, you gotta call them, uh, Scobbles or something. Like, you, you, you don't want to get copywritten. There, I woke up on Christmas morning and saw a third snowman. It had an evil grin on his face and was sticking a large knife into my boyfriend Nick's snowman. I screamed, Michael is out of prison! And I was shaking in fear, so we went to the police station and the officer responded, So, a snowman attempted to kill your husband, snowman? <laughs> that doofus couldn't stop laughing and refused to help us. Well, yeah, and I'm... But, uh, okay, I, I'm not a big fan on, like, how cops usually do certain things, but, I mean, can you blame them? Sir, believe me, this is important. A prison escapee is out on the loose and he's coming after me and my husband. I know 
because he made a snowman that killed my husband's snowman. Why are you walking out? When we got home, Nick said, I'll get rid of Michael once and for all. I have a degree in chemistry. I'll just poison Michael. That's child's play for me. So the next day, Nick put a fake advertisement from a supermarket chain in Michael's mailbox that we had created ourselves. It had a small print and gold foil attached to it. And we hoped that Michael would eat it. Is, is this going to be like that movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves where they like put stuff into the ma mailbox and then like years later, the other person gets the other one and stuff like that? Like it, That's what it seems like this is playing out to be. And you know what? A week later, we started driving past his house every night. Interestingly, the light was always on throughout the whole night and whole day, but no one ever came out. So one night, my boyfriend decided to go to the house and look through- you, you know, you guys are stalking him at this point, right? Like, anyone who's looking out there is like, why are these people, like, coming over all the damn time to the same house? The dude's not even there, and yet they keep coming over and looking into his house. Like, they're- I, I feel like that the boyfriend is going to get in trouble for the same thing they're trying to get Michael to get in trouble with, and then he's going to get sent to jail instead. I, I feel like Michael is coming with his revenge at some point. Through a window to see if Michael was there. When he came back, he said, Michael is laying on the ground, not moving. So the poison oh. had worked. We were quiet on the ride home, and I was so nervous. But then I said, screw it. No one will find out it was us. Let's go celebrate. We had a nice dinner with champagne and truffles. But to be honest, I was never able to shake off that slight nervousness I got from murdering Michael. It might stay with me forever. Wow. So, uh, this was a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> uh, well, rip, Michael. I mean, you you were you were a crazy SOB, but you know what? You you went out in a poison of glory. We'll do a moment of silence for the crazy stalker dude who is just clinically insane. Okay, that was a moment. 